in a parallel world to our own is Silvernell. And within this world lies the Titan Peaks, a treacherous formation of rock and war. Many years ago, when the war died down, there were still those on both sides who wanted to prove their strength. So together, they found common ground and formed a Colosseum. A place where anyone could enter and fight to the death to become the greatest warrior. If you can survive, your name will ring throughout Silvernell as the greatest warrior that ever lived. Tonight, eight new challengers have climbed the staircase up to the high peaks of the Silvernell Thunderdome! The Thunderdome is a single elimination competition. Eight warriors will go in, but only one will come out victorious. Here's how it works. Our warriors have been separated into two groups, Group A and Group B. Group A begins our competition on Session 1. These four battle it out until one is defeated. The very next session, Group B's turn. Once again, battling it out until one is terminated. The remaining three from Group A fight on our third session, and the remaining three from Group B fight on our fourth session. On our fifth session, we bring together the two remaining warriors from each group in our quarter-finals event. One will perish, and the remaining three will move on to our semifinals on session six. Our last two champions will then come together in session seven for our final ultimate showdown where the winner will be crowned the Thunderdome Champion. Last time on the Thunderdome, we met Group A, a Warforged Paladin named Smite. We met a half-orc fighter named Dunga Duga. We introduced a dwarf druid named Kara. We met a human barbarian named Olaf who seem to have beef with an audience member named Brittany. Brittany, you sit back down. This is my moment. I don't need any of that crap from you right now. Sit down. The humongous battlefield was introduced, and we watched as the Thunderdome wizards turned it into spinning vortexes of sand. As the battle raged on, our gladiators had trouble landing their hits. So, the Thunderdome Wizards introduced new vortexes. Dunka Duka was not impressed with Kauron using his druid powers to fling bugs at him. Did you just send bugs at me? And uh, I'm gonna throw my hand axe at him, so uh... After an unsuccessful axe attack on Dunka Duka, Smite entered the And fight. then, uh, can she take a bonus action to kick the axe into the hole? Yes. Olaf. In despair from losing his hand axe, attacked Smite and dealt the final blow. And Smite became the first casualty in the Thunderdome, eliminating her from the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Thunderdome. I am your Dungeon Master, Scott Nicholson, and tonight we're going to have some fun. But first, let us all rise and sing the Thunderdome anthem presented by Shannon Clement. Oh, seek and you'll find up the Titan Peak stairs. There's a test of great strength and power unyielding. Every race come to prove that they stand with the gods. Only one will remain and forge forth their legend. Hear the thunder dome crowd, all of silver now bows. Here's proof that's inside that our champion is here. Oh, slay and be crowned. Greatest warrior in all the land, Thunderdome Arena, and the home of heroes. Let the games begin! Hello! 
Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Silver Nell Thunderdome. I'm your Dungeon Master, Scott Nicholson, and tonight we're going to play some Dungeons & Dragons with four friends of mine who are new to Silver Nell, except for one. Jonathan, but he doesn't do it on stream, so you don't know that he's doing it. So, everybody, welcome. So first, let's start off by figuring out who is Group B. So first, we have Adam Orchakowski is Ornick. Introduce yourself. Nope. Uh, Ronk. Oh. oh, Ronk. Ronk the Bonk. Half Orc, Barbarian, Storm Herald. Raised by Angry Geese as a, as a feral yes. child. <laughs> and I got that glorious clip for later. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> 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 so now let's move on. Jonathan Dix is Ornick. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us who you are, besides, <laughs> besides your name. So, Ornick is a uh, dragonborn. She is very young and very brash, and uh, has, for most of her young life, just been challenging other people to fight and looking for honor and glory through challenging other people. It's sweet. Sounds good. All right. Christian Reagan is Akashi. Introduce yourself. Yes, uh, Akashi is just a tiny little burdened, doesn't really talk much, couldn't understand him if he did, uh, just likes to hang out with his friends, mainly one friend, which you'll see later, uh, and Ooh. travel the world, not looking for much trouble, but not afraid of it either. Sounds great. All right, and last, but certainly not least, is Tristan Von Helden is Uzame. Hi there. Uh, Zami is a wizard that likes traveling around, sh testing out uh, his sword skills, just like looking for a fight. Wants to spread the great word of blade singing and stabbing people with magic swords. <laughs> it's never wrong to stab people with a magic sword. Not in with this game. Of, with a bit of flair. With a bit of flair. Perfect. These are our players for Group B tonight. For everyone who checked out last uh, episode, last session, Group A fought, and we took one out of the field, and they will come back next weekend. But this weekend is for Group B, and the three winners of this battle will move on two weekends from now. So, uh, I would like to explain the Thunderdome. Our players are in a giant battle arena, even though it's been shrunk since last week, because, God, that one was huge. These guys <laughs> will be fighting... Rising up in the air, you see these wizards on this pedestal. They kind of spread out like synchronized swimmers in the air. These are the Thunderdome wizards. They will alter, change, diminish, and enlarge the course battlefield that you fight on. And then the clerics are backstage waiting to heal you up after you have finished battle and throwing out the trash of the loser. <laughs> so, with that being said... Everyone roll initiative. So just click on your token and then roll your initiative. And for everyone watching at home on stream, you'll be able to see the dice rollers right here. So you'll see their rolls come in as their initiatives come in. So we already see that Tristan's got a 20 and Jonathan's got an 11. How do you roll initiative? Um, if you go to your character sheet, um, kind of at the top middle, it says uh, it gives you a plus for initiative. Just click the word initiative. Oh man, I manually rolled and rolled twenty, and then I did that, and it got even worse. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, so what did you roll, Ornick? I rolled eleven. Eleven. All right, and who am I missing on the field? Uzami. Zami so got a 20. You... Ooh. A 20. King of the castle, king of the castle. So, these look very different than last week's. <laughs> what, the the, the <laughs> battlefield? <laughs> no, the fact that no one got lower than a 5. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, last That's week was insane. <laughs> I'd throw a little shade on our other competitors. Hey, you got to, because you're going to be trying to kick their butt later. Mm -hmm. All right, let me put this in the corner of the screen. And with that, to start us off, Uzami kicks a butt, dude. Okay. How, sorry, in a how do I do the line checking? 
distance thing. So there's a little tool all the way to the left. It looks like a Q that's kind of sideways. Click on that, and then um, you'll click on your character and drag it. Okay. Yeah, all just right. like that. So that shows you the distance. So you know you have 60 yeah. feet to rock. Are the squares five feet each? Each square, what? What you say? Yeah, each square is five, five feet. feet. Yeah. Five All feet. right. I'm going to start this off, and um, who's this at the very bottom? That's Runk. Runk. I am going to cast Firebolt on Runk. Yeah, here we go. Yay. I'm just typing these out because I couldn't add my spells into here. Okay, that's fine. 23 to hit. Does it yep. hit, Runk? Yep. Roll your damage. 1d10. 1 damage. <laughs> so as Ozami uh, doesn't even move, just looks up and casts a huge fireball to Rock. Oh, Rock turns, singes the tips of his beard a little bit. Uh, then I am going to cast a Shadow Blade as my bonus action. Describe what happens. So I shoot the fireball, and I see it really just singes his beard, and I'm like... The well, swords are better, and I just pull, like, it looks like I unsheath a blade out of nowhere, and just a blade of shadows just appear in my hand. Ooh. And just, and I just have a blade of shadows now. All right, is that the end of your turn? That is the end of my turn. I'm not moving. Ornick! The crowd goes wild. <sighs> Ornick is going to turn and look at him, start making her way over. Just very slowly and deliberately. <laughs> Walking right up to Uzami. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is that it? Just the stare down? That's it. Yeah, I don't, I don't have anything much range. Wait, you want to roll me an intimidation <laughs> check to see how Uzami feels about this? I certainly this? can. <laughs> a, uh, a nine. A nine. Uh, yeah, it, I don't even know if Uzami sees you at this point. <laughs> 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 all right. If that is all, then it is Okashi's turn. Um, I am going to uh, mount uh, Ekalish and fly uh, up 40 feet. All right. Describe Ekalish. Ekalish is a serpentine, uh, dragon-like uh, familiar of sorts. Medium size. Um, here, let me... Looks kind of the. How do I? Let me copy this picture real quick for a second. It's on the battlefield. They can see it. Oh, they can. There we go. Yeah. Uh, looks like uh, looks like that. Uh, you know, medium-sized wings. Um, very grumpy, just naturally. <laughs> just doesn't doesn't like anybody. Doesn't even like me, really. Um, and and all you hear as I command it to fly up is. <laughs> all right. So you're getting on it and you're flying up in the air. Yep. How far? Uh, 40 feet. All right, so we'll just all make a mental note because this is not a 3D map <laughs> that he is 40 feet up in the air. And for um, bonus action, I'm going to ready. Uh, let me find it. Uh, spike growth. Ooh. Uh, all right, what's the trigger? Um... If anyone comes in within uh, 10 feet of me. Okay, cool. Ronk. Uh, first off, Christian, I'm not sure if you noticed, but you're like broadcasting all your spells in this yeah, chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, okay, I, okay. I realized that after the fact. I was trying to <laughs> click on them to get the description. But He's generous. <laughs> just just get, get putting it out there. All right, uh, Ronk would like to uh, to uh, politely rage a little bit. All right, cool. And then, then uh, charge in some direction towards somebody he, he sees. All right, so and, he's running. Yeah, what, what, well, not not a full dash, but just you know, getting out there All towards right. who? Towards that way, and just go sit there and look angry with his uh, great axe and just yell. Wow, Alright, he's running. Alright, Uzami. Alright, uh, you all hear Uzami starts like almost singing under uh, his breath, and then he moves 
I don't know why I moved backwards, my bad. Then he's going to move right over here, which is exactly 30 feet away. And then attack uh, this person. Face to face yeah. against Ornick. The crowd goes wild seeing him in close proximity. And a 19 to hit. Okay, it hits. All right. Um, 2d8 dam psychic damage. Five. I get a lot of ones on damage today. Five points of psychic damage. Mm-hmm. And I am done. With the return retaliation, Ornick. All right. Ornick is going to swipe at him with her great axe. Okay. Does it hit? 15 does not hit me, no. Okay. Axe comes forward as you just took psychic damage, and because your brain is still kind of reeling with that psychic energy, it swings high. It's barely a duck for Uzami. Okay. And then she is going to step around and then go into rage. All right, two raging people on the Wait, field. do we have two barbarians? <laughs> it looks like it. <laughs> and wow. Uzami's in the middle. <laughs> yeah. 40 feet up in the air, we turn to Okashi. Akashi, not Okashi. Um, he's going to uh, waddle, because that's how he walks, to the uh, uh, just a little bit from where he's sitting. Um and look over just to see what's happening, and and uh, use. Hold on. We uh, should note that uh, uh, Ekalesh is is medium size, and Akashi is small size. Very small, almost like um, less than two mind. feet. <laughs> yes. Um, and then I am going to hold on one second. Let me get to my. Uh, where's it? There it is. Uh, I'm going to use. Um, my limited uh, telepathy, mm -hmm. um, and and just just very quietly. <laughs> to, to... <laughs> which one? <laughs> just, just out in the just out in the open. Who, whoever hits it first. <laughs> so I guess the closest person, if you look at the middle, <laughs> I'm already loving this. It would be Ronk. Yep, Ronk. All right, Ronk. You hear in your mind that. <laughs> <laughs> and it is Ronk's turn. I'm gonna just run towards the two guys I see because I'm not really sure where that sound's coming from. It's spooky and you know, yeah, all that. Hey guys, just full on dashing towards them. Sweet. Full on dashing towards Uzami and Ornick. I believe that uses up my action, my standard to, action. Correct? To dash, yeah. So you can you have a bonus action, yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, with my rage uh, thing here, I can activate a. Um, oh, here, that's Nick closest to me. Um, what's your name? Uh, Top left of me. Yeah, Uzami. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make a, a deck saving for. The DC of I believe. Did you say Uzume? Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? However you say it, you say it. He doesn't care. I'm gonna feel weird if I say it one way and you keep saying it a different way. <laughs> uh, Uzume. A, a deck saving throw. Uh, yes, DC thirteen. I rolled a seven. I'm willing to bet that's a fail. I failed. Yes. And you take now. You take one lightning damage. <laughs> Ow! Stop that! Uh, All right. I like this. This is this is this is the opposite of Group A, <laughs> but still similar. Group A, nobody could hit. You guys just do one point at a time. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. I did six points with the sword that could do... A oh, sword. that's true. That's true. So far, the crowd is cheering you on the most. Yeah. Uzame! 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 <laughs> All right. Speaking of Uzame, Uzame... The crowd doesn't even know how to say my name right. One that's guy in the crowd is just way. going, George! George! 
right, it's uh, my go. Then. It's your All go. Right. Yep. I am going to cast. Uh, bl- I will. I want to cast a mirror image on myself. With my bonus action. Spell. Ooh, describe what happens to us. So, you two that are close enough, close to me can see this, and then the crowd just sees. I'm just standing, looking like I'm about to stab, uh, stab someone with my sword, and then all of a sudden, there's four of me looking like I'm about to stab someone with my sword. Ooh. And then I'm sorry. Who's the uh, who's the dragonborn for? That Ornick. is Ornick. Ornick. Sorry. Uh, I am going to go at you again to stab you with my sword. Oh uh, uh, no! The they are all in my square. So basically, it's oh, okay. It's uh yeah. So when someone tries to how it works is if someone tries to attack me before they roll to attack, I roll a d twenty, and if it's below, it's above a certain number, they hit one of my they are attacking one of my clones instead of me. Very nice. So basically, I have a one in four shot of hitting me. All right, and then it is a fifteen to hit you. On Ornick? Ornick, yes. That's a hit. Uh, and I, I have a question about... So I have Rage and I have Resistance for that. Do Sorry. I add... Resistance, you'll take half of the damage, he tells you. Okay. Yeah, I sure. thought uh, Psychic Damage is not resist unless you're a bear. Uh, what gives because you no... Psychic re- Resistance? Ornick. I have Resistance to, to, like, the sword. So Bludgeoning, Piercing, Slashing Damage. So if that's psychic, then I didn't realize that. So yep, no, my, my sword is a magic magic sword, so it doesn't actually cut your body. It just sort of freaks, m- messes with your mind every time I hit you. Okay. Ooh, so you think you're stabbed? <laughs> yes. Yes. So it, you, so smart, your head so. like you're like, <laughs> and like how dare you stab me? And the crowd's just like, he didn't stab you. What are you talking about, friend? <laughs> person? <laughs> okay, six points of damage. Hey man, the sixes are in tonight. <laughs> yes, they are. All right, the crowd continues to cheer your name. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yes, because I want to do an attack of opportunity. Actually, uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. All right, Ornick. All right, gonna slash right back at him with a real with sword. Great axe okay, well, again. Let me let me roll my mirror image first, real quick, please. Yeah, that's true. Uh, you are hitting one of my clones. So it slashes through. Does it destroy the clone or just go through yes. the clone? Yes. Uh, well, they have an AC of 14. Yes. They okay. slash. It destroys one of my clones. He's got only three clones left. Very nice. Is that okay. it? Uh, Going to be very confused and just back <laughs> up. Uh, so I get an attack of opportunity <laughs> that, if you leave my area. That is true. So go ahead and make your attack, Uzume. No, I miss. That one. Very nice. Akashi, or unless you got anything else, do you get a bonus action? Unless you want to take it, uh, Ornick. Uh, no. Okay. From with up in the air. <laughs> um, he he's kind of just still looking. Not really sure what these people are doing. Um, how do I check to see how far away like they are from me? So on the toolbar to your left, it looks like there's a Q that's sideways. Click that. Mm-hmm. Click on your guy and drag it somewhere. Um, and, uh, I decide that, that this is too loud. Pe- people are, are, are doing magic things, and I don't know what that magic thing was. People saying they're getting cut and not really getting cut. My eyes don't deceive me. So <laughs> I'm going to, uh, cast, uh, Spike Growth. Okay. Um, right, uh, pff. If you want to ping the map... Uh, on the left, where there's a black arrow, point where you want it and hold it, and it will make a little circle of a color. If you ever want to indicate on the map. Right there. All right. And I got to see what I need to roll. I don't know what I need to roll. Spike growth? Yeah, here, let me link it. Sorry. Nothing. If uh, 
either one of us now move, we take damage. Okay, damage. cool. So, we're just locked in Round... combat. Yeah. So, it's a 20-foot radius, so I'll go ahead and put it on the board. If you said right there, 5, 10, 15, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, it would be... There. That is all spike growth. Wow. So, if anyone in that area moves, we take... 2d4 piercing damage for each 5 feet. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> um, any Transformation of the ground is camouflaged to look natural. Any creature that can't see the area of the time of spell cast make a wisdom perception. Yeah, so it just it just happens. Um, so, cool. Yeah, I'm imagining if you're walking, so you can try some fancy things to try to get out of it, but if you're just walking through, he kind of gotcha. Alright, that is the end. It is Ronk's turn. All right, I'm going to recklessly attack this guy okay. right here. Let me... Okay, you are hitting a clone again. It destroys another clone. Yep. Two clones left. And uh, no, one I clone left. My, uh, oh, one. There was only three. Uh, yeah, there's only three altogether. Gotcha. I w I was saying for like counting myself plus three others. Gotcha. All right. Anything else, Ronk? Uh, also going to activate my um, C uh, electrical powers here one more time. So make a DC 13 deck save, please. Okay. I hit 13, so I pass. It. All right. Well, you take half of the DC. Nice. Do the damage. I know I use my keyboard. And half so, of three. we'll round down so it's one. Okay. Keep that good. Ow! Stop doing one. one damage to me, person. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, it, it's like getting like slightly annoying, please. <laughs> all right. If that is all, then it is our good anti one damage person, Uzme. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to. Uh... You're the trying to uh sorry, I need to double check one of my spells is range. Sure, go ahead. Damn, I could have slightly outside of range for that. Alright, I will just swing at Ronk. Uh thirteen to hit. Uh you have advantage on the Oh, you are right, so I'll just re roll that again. Twenty three to hit instead. Oh yeah, that gets me. That's it. Alright. I will now do 2d6 psychic damage. So noble of you, Ronk. Oh, 2d8. I'm going to re-roll that because I roll, typed the wrong numbers. Eight points of damage. What type? All right. Psychic. I'm, my sword only does psychic damage. Gotcha. Eight on Ronk. I do not have any other magic, any other swords right now other than my one magic sword. All right. Ornick. All right, Ornick is very, very annoyed with this man right here. And so she is going to throw a javelin at him. I, I'm assuming you mean me? Yes. All right, I mean... <laughs> 17 to hit. Uh, that hits a clone. My last clone disappears in a puff of smoke. Okay. Um, and we're going to say that javelin sticks into the ground. I like to keep track of the weapons. We'll make it a blue right there. Okay. And that's it. I'm gonna move. All right, Akashi. One round of spike growth is done. Ninety-nine more to go. Because <laughs> it's a ten-minute spell. <laughs> it's a ten-minute um, spell. Yeah, yes. The only way to really break it is it's a concentration spell. As if his concentration is broken. So, um, just because. I have poor vision. I'm tiny, you know, and I was kind of crapped on with genetics. Um, I'm just going to move. Mm. And you should be able to move Echolesh as well. Okay. How do I move this dude? Uh, 
just uh, <laughs> grab them and drag them, or grab them and then use your arrow keys. Yeah, you yeah, got it. There. Let me make sure I can actually... Yep, yeah, 30, 30. So that was 30, right? Mm-hmm. And then, obviously, right there. And just to just get a better idea of the action, and I'm uh, ending my turn. <laughs> His turn was to further observe. He pulls out some popcorn. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Runk. All right. Uh, reckless attack again. All right. And he has no more clones, by the way. This will go after him. So it's a 23 to hit. Yeah, that hits me, even if I cast shield. Actually, wait. Uh, yeah, even if I cast shield, that hits me. Well, I just uh, I need to roll a second time, and I just crit. Oh, that's hmm? that's crit. So you're going to double the damage. That that's is... not a crit. That's a... Oh, I'm rolled up. I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> I that was is definitely up a crit. <laughs> I was looking at the spell, and I just saw a seventeen pop up. So yeah, you'll you'll uh, double the damage die. All right, one second. First crit of the night. Woo woo. So I roll d two d twelve. Oh boy. And actually, with my cool uh, half orc savage attack, I get to roll it one more time. Awesome. And you're hitting with what with what weapon? My great axe. So you're also going to add your strength modifier. Oh wait, take uh, two off of that first damage there. I actually put my uh, attack bonus on my uh, modifier. Oh wait so a minute, it's a plus that. seven. I, yeah, I see that actually. Yeah. My my attack bonus, uh, strength bonus is five, uh, not seven. Okay, so that's nineteen damage right there. Oof! Ozume oh, takes 19 points of damage uh, from the crowd. You hear, ooh! Oh, no, nah, it's actually 20, 26, because uh, with my critical uh, savage attack on at being half work, I get to roll that damage die again. 26 that. points of damage? Yeah, I'm done. Is Uzume <laughs> out already? That's my max HP right there. All right, that brings him down to zero. He is technically not <laughs> dead yet. He is rolling death saving throws. If he has hit, it is automatically two fails. So right, we can choose I, to keep just, going for him. Well, I'm not done. Okay. Um, oh, he's gonna go. I, 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 got a, I got a static shock. I'm gonna rub my, top, my feet on the carpet. <laughs> yep. a, I'm not sure how you do a de uh, dex saving throw. I can't. Dex automatically fails. Automatically fails for someone who's down. Strength and dex are automatic fails. I take two. So that is two fails right off the bat. It is your turn now. Roll a death saving throw that could end your turn I'm in the thunder. Real quick. Yes. Um, since he moved, like, is, is he? Did he fall on the ground? Uh, as long as he stays within five feet, he doesn't technically move. Uh, a okay, distance. I just didn't know. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah, that is uh, five uh, lightning damage as well on that. All right, yeah, so you uh, rolled a thirteen. I, that is one save. I knew I should have re, oh, re up no. my uh, my mirror image last turn. <laughs> oh, no, two fails, one save. It is Ornix's turn. Shall she end it right. here? Yeah, I was gonna say I could still I could still attack him. Uh, yeah, and you're gonna have advantage then, yep, on attacks against him as long as it's not javelin. ranged. All right, so it's just regular. I'm pretty yep. sure. Yeah, uh, it, it it neutrals out to regular. My AC is 14 right now. <laughs> so it misses uh. the second javelin goes <laughs> right above his head. <laughs> or he's having a bad day. <laughs> Anything else? You can't kill uh, the dead. They're already there. No. Is that for me? Akashi. <laughs> He's measuring up. Okay, one second. Let me... Okay, I'm going to cast uh, Sacred Flame. Or, yeah, uh... Yeah, Sacred Flame. All right, um, so your hand appears in a little flame in your little hand, and you throw that flame, I imagine? Uh, yeah, I kind of, I don't throw it, like, with force. I just kind of, like, let it go. <laughs> just like, like it's a butterfly. <laughs> yeah, I'm dead. Um, uh. And, uh, to uh, the downed individual. 
Um, All right. Six feet on a dexterity saving throw, obviously. Bad. I instant fail and then I die. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the whole crowd oh, is super quiet. You can hear a mouse kind of uh, scuttling and then it stops to look over the edge and see what's going on. <laughs> this little flame ignites the spike growth and you see Uzume's hand rise up into the eyes, it bursts into flames and the whole crowd cheers oh gosh hey oh gosh hey oh gosh hey and just like that the first member of group B is dead <laughs> uh, that is the shortest game of Dungeons and Dragons I have ever played in my entire life <laughs> Half or critting, they do a lot of damage <laughs> against the wizard. <laughs> All offense. So that means, uh, two Saturdays from now, in Group B, we will see Akashi, Runk, and Ornick go head to head to try to knock one more out of this round. So if you're actually, no one's watching us on Twitch or something. I, it's disconnecting, reconnecting. It's so messed up. Uh, but actually, now I have time to upload it to YouTube and probably put it out tonight. So that'll work. Uh, thank you guys for playing. Tristan, <laughs> yep. th thanks for playing, man. <laughs> it's been real fun. Uh, if you do happen to see this on the social media, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll be back next time, next Saturday. Take care, everybody. Yeah. <laughs>